Got any spices? Bay leaves, chili peppers? Mm. The meat's nice, but you should perk it up a bit. And throw in some vegetables. Screw you. Any firearms on the premises? Rifles? Handguns? You know what I've got. You've been through here ten times. Could you show me where these weapons are located, please? Gun is loaded. These weapons have not been stored in a safe and secure location, which is a violation of the Firearms Act. You will be required to appear before a judge. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand the seriousness of these offenses. Guns are dangerous. Look what happened to Corporal Kennedy. Get the hell out of here. I have reason to believe that you will fail to appear. I'm gonna have to take you into custody until these violations have been dealt with. Did you shoot Corporal Kennedy? Do you know who did? Okay, Charlie. Here. Michelle is home. She knows you're not feeling well. She's gonna come by. When she gets her? Uh-huh. she gets her? You guys can have a chat. She can't hear you. She can hear me, all right? So don't you say she can't. She can hear me. She's hardly eating. You could help, you know. <laughs> oh. 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 I can't hug you, eh? But you can give her a kiss. You too, Jerry. Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. That says, uh, welcome back in Slavey. Thanks, Jerry. It's good you're home. Mit be vitaya mo dorahenka. That's, uh, welcome back in Ukraine. Come in. I, uh, I just came by to see how you're doing. Still really bad. I'm healing. How's Lois? She's coming along, you know, bit by bit. Yeah, but it helps, though, if, if um, you know, she sees familiar things, you know, people. I'll come by. Tonight? Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her. Joe showed me how to make the snares. And then, like, 
an hour later, mm. this rabbit comes right up. Mm. And then he sniffed around it. Uh. And you should get some rest. We'll clean up. It still hurts, I can tell. Yeah, a little. But it's okay, it'll stop. Come on, Charlie. Ah, uh, when someone is ill, a gifted healer may be called in. This person is considered to be very pious and known in the community for his devotion to God and for being almost at one with nature. More bloody priests. Uh, this person is recognized but not idolized. He is uh, common but has uh, extraordinary gifts. Like a medicine man. It's naughty, uh, naughty. Uh... Then in naughty, it means he dreams. The healer of wounded souls. Oh, you know about it? Oh, what happened? Sometimes nothing. But sometimes it works? It's not like a drug. Well, what the hell is it then? Well, come on, Rosie. What, is this some big secret or something? No white guys allowed? I mean, Lois is den, eh? Or what, is she off the res now because of me? You want a simple answer? There isn't one. It's like the resurrection. Resurrection is bullshit. Who told you about the Nenate? What difference does it make? Is it true? Elsie, you could do it. I mean, you know all about that stuff. Well, come on, why? Elsie, you've got the gift. Everybody says you do. Pray for her. That's what you should do. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's stated for the record that my client, Vincent Lafayette, is under no legal obligation to be here. He has agreed to give this statement solely for the purpose of assisting the authorities in finding the person or persons who shot and wounded Corporal Michelle Kennedy. And I'd like to state for the record that Mr. Lafayette is still a suspect in this case. And therefore, it is very much in his best interest that his statement be accurate and truthful in every respect. Are you a member of the Death Warriors Motorcycle Gang? <clears throat> it's a club, not a gang. On the 14th of April, we were traveling along the Mackenzie Highway in a 1996 Ford cargo van. Yes. What was in your van? Electronic equipment. Stolen electronic equipment, correct? My client has acknowledged the merchandise was stolen. Right. And then you, in turn, were attacked and robbed by three assailants. That's right. Do you recognize this person? No. Do you recognize this person? No. And this one? Yes. The person identified in the photo is Luke Savard, a resident of Wolverine Lake and known to the authorities. How do you know this person? I ripped his mask off during the altercation. Then you were here at the health center for a couple of days, pretending to have amnesia. My client suffered a severe concussion. That's a matter of record. Corporal Kennedy showed you the mugshot book. You recognized Luke, you left the health center and you went after him, right? That's right. Who told you where to find him? 
Some old hunter. Said to look for William. Where I'd find William, Luke wouldn't be far away. He said there was a cabin in the bush. Then what? I went back to the van. Why? I had a gun hidden there. I wanted to see if it was still there. Was it? Yes. What kind of gun was it? A rifle. 14-inch barrel with a folding stock. That's the gun that you surrendered to Montreal? Yes. And you headed back for the cabin, right? But I didn't get there. Why? I heard a shot. Describe the shot. Was it far away? Near. Then what? I saw someone running through the bush. I couldn't tell who. I ran after them. That's when I saw the cop. Corporal Kennedy? Then I ran. Tell me again about the gun. <clears throat> A rifle. You remember? Try again. Corporal Kennedy wasn't shot with a rifle. She was shot with a handgun. You shot her with a handgun. I didn't shoot her. You did. I don't know. You're the only person that admits being there. The three goofs rip you off. You go after them. Corporal Kennedy finds you. Pop. You said it was a handgun. That's right. But nobody here has handguns. They all have rifles and knives. That's how I know it was you. You always pack a piece, Vincent. You buy them and sell them, you trade them, you steal them, and you use them. Aggravated assault, assault with a deadly weapon, unlawful possession of a firearm, armed robbery. So don't give me this BS about a rifle. You have no proof. I have means, motive, and opportunity. And he is my only suspect. Wait a minute, all right? I forgot. You forgot. There was a 44 in the glove compartment. But it wasn't there when I got back. Nothing was. They stripped the van clean. Oh, except for the rifle that they couldn't find. Look, the goose stole the gun just like they stole everything else. Look, you find the gun, you find the guy who shot the cop. That's the goddamn truth. You guys know each other? Is there any reason why you shouldn't get along? Otherwise, I gotta cuff you both. When do I get out of here? Why? You got a job or something? He knows we know each other, eh? So? Why do you think you put us in here together? Huh? See which one comes out alive. <sighs> you ever been to prison? I mean, real prison with the big boys. You know, you call for a guard, they never come. Listen to me, pretty boy. You ripped off the wrong truck. You must know that by now, don't you? One way or another, you gotta make it up to me. If you don't, my friends know all about you now. You know who my friends are, don't you, sweetie? Okay. I'm gonna have to go and do some time. Not for shooting the cop, because I didn't shoot her. Neither did I. Listen to me. My friends have to come out here and have a talk with you. You ain't gonna be so pretty anymore. I didn't shoot her. It wasn't me. I don't know who, who did it. No, no, no. There was a 44 in the glove box. Where is it? She was shot with a handgun. Strip the van, everything.
Listen, they're not just gonna kill you. It ain't gonna be that easy. Trust me. You find my gun, okay? And a few other of my things, too. Some assistance to you, Constable. No, really? I'm telling you, he didn't do it, or his balls are bigger than his brains. It's Michelle. She's come to see you. Lois. Where's Jesse? Well, he's, uh, he's with TV. It's kind of hard to manage right now. Mercy, people shouldn't go away so much. Bad things happen. Na 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 na. I'll see you. Michelle, Denis Nati. You know what it is? You've heard about it? Healer of wounded souls. What Rosie said. I don't know much about it. Maybe Elsie does. Everyone says it's TV's fault Rosie's sick. Who says that? He ran away. Lois had a stroke. That's not anybody's fault. What about Elsie? She never goes out now. She just sits there. She's tired, that's all. She'll get better. Where are we going? I have to talk to James. You can't. The doctor said. Charlie, I'm not going back to work. I'm just going to talk to him. Anytime you want. Just promise you'll store your guns properly, and you won't skip out on your court day. All righty, then. Bye-bye now. Take care. Um, you know about this, um, this is Dene Nate thing, right? It's a person that heals the sick. I mean, is there some kind of ceremony? Mm, sort of. Well, why won't Elsie do it for Lois? Harris. It's her own daughter. She can't do anything. Not now. Well, then someone else can do it. You, you could do it, or, or, or Michelle. It's got to be someone who understands the medicine. Someone who has the gift. Harris, listen to me. Lois has had a stroke. She needs rehab and therapy. There's programs and there's funds. No! Just help me, please. I mean, for once in your goddamn life, just help me! Thank you. Is that forensics? No, it's your statements. Well, it wasn't much help. Actually, it was. To me. Was Lafayette in here this morning? He's supposed to be off duty. Is he here now? No, he uh, gave a statement and he took the schedule down. You should have called me in. What did he say? He acknowledged that there was a handgun in the van, which jives with the forensics report on your wound, but he denies knowing anything about the shooting. A death warrior wouldn't shoot a cop. It's bad for business. But Albert would. For what? He was afraid I was going to arrest him. Because you were pushing me. I'm sure he knew that. The hijacking, Vincent William, it's a perfect cover. I don't think it's as complicated as that. Because you don't know this community or Albert. Oh, 
long. You okay? Uh, what is it? We have to go. You're supposed to change the dressing on the thing. We're talking. I'll be home soon. She's not supposed to be here. I know. Okay, let's go. Uh, isn't getting any better. And we thought that maybe you might be able to help. <laughs> she, she's never done anything but good in this town. I mean, every Sunday, she, she gets up there in church and prays for every one of you, and now she needs some help. There's nobody? How do you know what she needs? She doesn't speak. Well, she speaks to me. It's your own voice you're hearing, not hers. No such thing as miracles, Harris. Everything happens for a reason. Just help me, Joe, please. It make things worse. I've seen it happen. Can't get any worse. Your throat if you don't tell me. What gun? No. What? You stripped the van in the glove compartment. I know you took the gun, and I know you shot the cop. It wasn't me. It was Terry. Terry cleaned out the front. I didn't go near that glove compartment. Never took no gun. Right. Stupid friggin' nail bill. sleeping. She's never going to get better. Not till she quits being a cop. Why? Because Harper's totally useless. That's not true. Yes, it is. She has to do everything, right? That's why she got shot. It's going to happen again unless she quits. I don't want her there any more than you do. But if I tell her, it's like waving a red flag. You know what she's like. You're not going to do anything? Not till she's better. Till she's less angry. I knew it. What? I'm the only one who cares. Stop ragging on me, Charlie. What was that about? You and Harper have a fight? The biker was in town. James interviewed him without telling me. You're on sick leave. Well, he doesn't understand how this town works. He doesn't understand how Albert pulls all the strings. And meanwhile, it's been a month and he doesn't have the weapon or the bullet. Let him do his job. You can't do it for him. 
He doesn't understand. Let him learn. I got shot. And the guy who did this is going to get away. Don't you care about that? Where are my pills? Hey, William. What's up? I need the gun. Come on, the 44 you lifted from the van. The one the cops are looking for. Who says I have it? No one yet. I got a guy who's gonna take it off our hands. And he's gonna pay us 350 bucks. That's like 120 a piece. Screw you, McNeil. It's my gun. Terry, you shot a goddamn cop. Let's get smart, okay? Go get the gun. I gotta call this guy back. Not tonight. Gotta help my old man haul garbage from the rig. <sighs> Try this. Michelle here? She's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Hi, James. Come in. You were sleeping? Um, no. Come in. Sit down. Charlie, I'd like to talk to Michelle in private. Do you mind? On him too, eh? Mm -hmm. Funny how he knows. I think they all know. I see in their eyes. No what? That it's my fault that you were shot. You shouldn't have been out there alone. It was my call. Because you didn't trust me. That's what you said. I remember. I'll always remember. It was a mistake. A stupid mistake. But you were right. I had been out to the cabin. William's cabin. There was someone in there, and uh, I was afraid to go in. So I bailed. You knew I bailed because you know me. I can't do it. I can't go through those doors. It happened in Nepal, and a kid was killed. My father covered it up for me, and you know that too. And now you're covering up for me. You didn't mention any of this in your statement. We were investigating an assault and robbery. Your actions, your conduct, are another issue. That's why it's not in my statement. You don't think I should be a cop, do you? Is there any way that I can make this up to you? I don't know. Maybe not.
is it? What, what's wrong? It's no good. I can't do it. Why? Do it. You said you'd do it. Now is not the right time. Why? What you want is good. But in your heart, you don't believe. I, I don't believe. That's why I'm, I'm the problem here. Is that it? Where's the gun? Where's the guy? Wolverine Lake. I gotta go get him. What's his name? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Any funny stuff? And pow. I'll be back in an hour. So help yourself. Hey, William. It's the bullet. That shot the cop? I went back before the cops got there. Cool. See you later. Go to hell. Bunch of phonies. Thieves. Murderers. You're the worst of the lot! Oh, I know you need your river of blood. Your mountain of bones. Listen, she's an angel. She's a bloody saint, a bloody friggin' true believer. You want your eye? You want your tooth? Take me. Punish me. I, sinner.
Recognition on that one. Righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. going on? Se no se se ma si. I'm hungry. I was heading for the truck where all the stuff was. She turned and I thought she saw me. So I fired. I know your mother and father. I've stayed at your auntie's home in Wrigley. How could you shoot me? I don't know. It's like it wasn't real. I was so scared, I just freaked out. So freaked out, you went back for souvenirs.
You should have told me what was happening. I could have coordinated some backup. In my judgment, more cops on the scene might have alerted him. If I had told you, you might have insisted on helping out, which in your condition might have proved counterproductive. There were also time factors to consider. I did what I thought was best in my judgment. What would you have done? It wasn't a macho thing, Michelle. Trust me. I trust you. What if you get hurt again? I made a mistake because I was angry. I went out there alone just to prove a point, and it was the most stupid thing I could have done. And I'll never do it again, I promise. But it doesn't mean this work isn't dangerous sometimes. Hey. Michelle! Peter, it's... It's, it's Lois. She, she's better. What happened? Well, I don't know. I, I just... She just... I don't know. You gotta come see her. 